YouTube. My name is Elizabeth and welcome back to the Owlry. Today is, I don't even know what day of Vlogmas it is anymore. It is the 23rd day of Vlogmas. I'm pre-recording these videos, so I'm like losing track of all my days. Um, and today I'm going to be coming at you with my 2016 reading resolutions check-in. Now, I have been dreading recording this video, you guys, okay? Because I realized about halfway through the year that I was not going to try to focus on my reading resolutions. Um because I don't know why like I feel like what I accomplish I'm happy with and if I don't like they're kind of like they're not goals or resolutions they're kind of just like like something that I I want to attain and I'm going to work towards but if I don't work towards I'm not going to be mad at myself like a lot of people take resolutions really really seriously and I don't like if I try my hardest if I do my best I'm happy with that and I know what I can I know what I can do and I know what I can't do and so I'm just not hard on myself. So basically I have not looked at my reading resolutions in months and I really forgot all of them. So I have my video up here of my 2016 reading resolutions um, and I am going to watch it for the first time in a long time and see how I did. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, 2015 Elizabeth, you were ambitious. Um, so I read 135 books this year, and so what happened was, is like February, March, I was like already 10 books behind or something, and I tried so, 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 so hard to catch up, and it just wasn't happening. So I think around the middle of the year, I decreased my reading goal to 175 and then a couple months later I decreased it to 150 and then just a couple of weeks ago I decreased it to 135. Um, so yeah I accomplished my goal of 135 books that I decreased my reading challenge like three times so um, but again like I said in the beginning I'm happy with that. I did what I wanted to do and I tried my best and I only read like 10 books less than last year so um it's really not that bad and this year has been exponentially more busy than last year so I am not upset about not reading 200 books except for I'm probably going to make that my 2017 Goodreads reading challenge is 200 books but we'll see if it happens <laughs> I said and I was like a minute later I said as long as I read 150 I'll be happy well I'm only reading 135 and I'm happy with that so uh, my next goal was to participate in as many read-alongs and read-a-thons as I possibly can and I think I did that um there were quite a few read-a-thons that I just wasn't able to participate in um because of being busy or life or family issues or whatever and that's fine um my next goal was to finish or catch up on as many series as I can so let me see I finished the Lunar Chronicle series, I finished the Selection series, I finished the Remnant Chronicle series, I finished the Defy series by Sarah B. Larson, I finished the Grisha trilogy, I finished um, Illuminae and Gemina, I think that's it. I think those are the, all of the, all of the, um, other than graphic novels and comics, I finished or caught up on like five or six series this year. And that's actually a lot more than what I was expecting. So I'm very, very proud of that number. My next goal is to read uh, nonfiction and historical fiction more. And I have read a grand total of zero nonfiction and zero historical fiction. Unless I've read a young adult historical fiction that I can't remember right now. But I don't think I have. My goal was to really read like some of my adult historical fiction that I have like back here. And that didn't happen. But again, I read what I wanted to read and I read what I was in the mood for. And I'm happy with that. For my booktube goals, I said that I just wanted to like keep going at the pace that I was and that I was happy where I was at at the beginning of um, 2016 and that I just kind of wanted to keep on putting out good content. And I think that I have been putting out exponentially better content than I have in the past years. And um, coming up with the idea for the YA Booktube Awards was probably my best idea I've ever had in my entire life. And I am very proud of what I have done with the content and my channel of 2016. So I said I wanted to improve my video quality and I bought a better editing software. Um, I have a better camera than I did in the past. So I think I accomplished that goal as well. 
I said that I wanted to write a review blog post on every book that I read this year, and that definitely didn't happen. Um, although I was a lot better about doing review books on my blog this year than I have in the past. Um, if you want to check out any of the reviews I've been doing this year, definitely check out my blog, which is always linked down in the description. Okay, so I guess that was it for the goals that I wanted to do accomplish in 2016. And there weren't as many goals as I thought that I had initially created. Um, but if you guys want to watch that video, I'll link it down in the description. Um, it's crazy to think that my video a year ago is just so cringeworthy, but I'm quickly, quickly losing sunlight. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And, um, again, I'm going to end out saying I'm just very happy with the way that my reading and blogging and booktubing life turned out in 2016. I couldn't be happier with you know, everything that I've accomplished, and I'm just very happy, and I hope that you guys are not too hard on yourself if you did not complete all of your 2016 reading resolutions. It is okay, and you can always try again next year. If you want to watch my most recent video, you can click right there, or if you'd like to subscribe, you can click right there. That would make me oh so happy. It would just, like, make my heart flutter, and um, if you guys want to check out any of my links in the description where my social media is and other places you can talk to me about books, definitely do that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!